In previous videos, we talked about bets that are based on the decision of the dice. But your lucky number happens to be a box number. And that's what you want to bet regardless on what the dice have to say about it. Besides, the dice only give you one option at a time and they're limited. But this is America. America was built on freedom. The freedom to choose. America was built on the freedom to choose and the place bet gives you that freedom. The place bet lets you choose. The place bet gives you freedom to choose in America. And the place bet is what we talk about right now on your Lemon Bread. Okay, so place bets aren't really up there in the realm of importance, especially when compared to really important things like freedom of speech or your right to vote. But they do give you the ability to choose what number you want to bet on. Place bets are made on any or all of the box numbers, and the most common place bets are what's referred to as the inside numbers, which are the 5 through the 9. The 4 and the 10 are often referred to as the outside numbers. Remember how in previous videos we talked about odds bets will pay true odds? The same numbers on the place bets will pay less than true odds and this is how the casino helps maintain its edge. I just mentioned something called true odds. If that term is new to you, click the icon on the top of your screen right now to view the video that discusses that. Then come right back here to keep learning about the place bets. Place bets on the 6 and the 8 should be in multiples of 6 as they pay 7 to 6 for a win. Place bets on the 4, the 5, and the 9, and the 10 should be in multiples of 5 as the 5 and the 9 will pay out 7 to 5 and the outside numbers pay 9 to 5. Now the 4 and the 10 are a perfect opportunity to look at the difference between true odds and payout odds. True odds for the outside number will pay 2 to 1. So a $5 bet, a casino would pay $10 for a winning bet involving true odds. However, this same $5 bet on a place bet will actually only win $9. This is the payout odds. Now this lower profit margin does come with a small advantage because you do get to choose where you want your place bets, while odds bets can only be made based on the point or the come bet and that's decided entirely by the roll of the dice. To make a place bet, simply lay your checks on the layout in front of you and tell the dealer what number you'd like to place. For example, if your favorite number happens to be a nine, tell the dealer, place the nine please, as you lay your checks on the felt. The dealer will then place your bet. You can also do multiple bets all with one cool move. For example, you could put $10 on the felt and tell the dealer, place the five and the nine, please. The dealer will know that your $10 is meant to be $5 for each number and will place your bet accordingly. One of the most common ways to bet the place bet is to do the inside 22. In this case, you would place $22 on the felt and tell the dealer, inside 22, please. The dealer knows to spread the $22 accordingly across the inside numbers for your place bet. The same thing can be done by laying $32 on the felt and telling the dealer, 32 across please. This is the same thing as the 22 inside, but it also adds $5 to the four and the 10. Place bets are considered working or not working based on the puck. If the puck is on, your place bets are working. If the puck is off, your bets are off. Now you can change this if you'd like. If the puck is off and you want your place bets working, Ask the dealer to leave your place bets on and they will put an on button on your place bets. Similarly, you can turn off your place bets when the puck is on by asking the dealer to turn your place bets off. If the puck or a button is on for your place bets, your place bets will win if that number is rolled and they will lose if a seven is rolled. Conversely, if the puck is turned off or you have an off button on your place bets, they are inactive 
cannot win and you cannot lose. If you win a place bet, the dealer will likely ask you if you want to press it. To press your bet means to use your winnings to increase that place bet. If you say same bet, the dealer will give you your winnings, but if you say press it, the dealer will use your winnings to increase that bet and then give you the remainder. Place bets are not contract bets, so you can increase them, decrease them, remove them, or make them as you see fit throughout the game. If you want your place bets removed from the table, simply ask the dealer to take your place bets down. The dealer will collect your checks and pass them to you. If you're using a betting strategy that will eventually use the same place bets on the next roll, it might make more sense just to turn your bets off rather than taking them down. But strategies employing turning place bets on and off will be discussed in later strategy videos. That covers place bets. It's a great option to get the numbers of your choice in play so that you're in control of your money. But the place bets can add up kind of fast. Well, what if I told you there's a way to cover half of the numbers in place bets, plus other numbers not even offered for a place bet, all for one small wager? Well, that's called the field bet, and it's what we cover in the next video in this series. So make sure you're subscribed to see that video and more. Remember to tip your dealers and always play within your means. Thanks for watching your 11 bread, and good luck, everybody.